Well, hello. So today it is time for my weekly wrap up for the week of um uh the 11th through the 17th of June 2023 and in our hashtag pride month all of these books happened to have at least major minor uh gay characters uh please don't make let 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 you think that I'm being serious about this I'm being serious about that but don't I'm very aware <laughs> that most of these are not like what you'd call good representation I'd say maybe I'll give you three I'll give you three I'll let you know what they are anyway uh so I read six books this past week um I'm currently the book I'm currently reading I, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit more at the end I'm my favorite character is like 10 pages away from dying and so I'm like really like edging my way along there uh but anyway the first book I read this past week was a manga that is Hitoji My Hero Volume 5 by Mimiko Ari this it follows this kid Satagawa who's in high school and he is he's just a doormat uh and so his entire life he's really been kind of pushed around and walked all over and he when he was in middle school he was like the liaison the, the the gopher for this gang of like delinquents and this guy ended up saving him and he ended up being become friends with this guy's with this guy's younger brother and then um this guy turns into his math teacher and they have a relationship and i let other i don't like this trope i don't like the student teacher relationship thing i think it's really gross uh however this series i really like him I really like the main character. I really like Satagawa. I really like, I like, I feel like I like most of the characters and I, what I don't like is any of the relationships. Uh, really get with Fukushige, Satagawa, because he's in love with you anyway. Um, and he's your age and he's not creepy. Um, but I do like, I do like the fact that they are like, they do talk about like that. This is the fact that this is going to end poorly. They talk about that a lot actually. Um, but yeah, overall I give this four out of five stars. I've been reading this series for like, you know, I've been getting into it. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to kind of get burned out on it. I don't read it, you know, very frequently, but yeah, there, there, there's that one. Uh, then I read oh, probably my favorite book of the stack. I really enjoyed, I'm, I enjoyed most of the books I read, I read, um, this week, but my favorite book of the stack was Exquisite Corpse by Poppy Deeper. I finally read Exquisite Corpse. Oh my god, it was so good. It was so well written. It was so good. Basically, this this book follows a, a basically like four different people. It follows a um a serial killer or a, a Dennis Nelson type. Uh, actually, I saw a, a post on Tumblr that was like Poppy Bright really just wrote Jeffrey Dahmer and Dennis Nelson fan fiction. And just like went like sure and published it, which. Is, yeah, but this this serial killer in England who fakes his own death and ends up escaping. Uh, it follows this guy in New Orleans, this rich rich guy in his thirties who really likes torturing and killing young men. Uh, this kid, this not kid, he's like nineteen, nineteen or uh, twenty. This young man Tran, who ends up being kind of the object of their kind of lust, and Tran's ex boyfriend who is dying of AIDS, Luke. And it's just oh, it's so so good. It's it's gross. It's real gross. Uh, I think the part that affected me the most is there's a part where one character eats a mystery meat out of another character's fridge, and you, you, the reader, know oh god, he just ate human meat. This character never finds that out. You do find out. You get confirmed later. Uh, but this character, the character never finds out, and it's it oh man, um. No, it was super well written and the fact that like all the characters there were so well drawn like I really like I really felt for Tran and Luke really I did and it it was it was rough and if you know anything about like what happened with you know like Jeffrey Dahmer um you know that there's a part at the end where it's like you have a little bit of hope but if you know anything about that you know like oh yeah no like there's nothing nothing's good gonna happen from this and it was it was really depressing it was sad um it was gross it was really really good it was a lot shorter than I thought somebody's like 240 pages um, it's so well written. It's so well written. I almost, it almost made me start crying at one point. Um, but like, not of like fear or disgust, but just because it was sad. Um, I really loved it. I gave it five out of five stars. This is one of my favorite books of the year. Uh, then I reread, finished rereading my favorite book. What I call my favorite book of all time now. Uh, and that is Bear Town by Frederick Backman. Uh, I actually started reading this book. Uh, this is one of the books that I had started reading and was in my stacks at the school and then I brought them and I shoved them in the book wall and I just kind of forgot about them. Um, so I have like 
20 books that I'm like halfway or more than halfway finished with. Uh, but Beartown, if you're not aware, the Beartown is the story of this small town in Sweden uh, where the only thing they really got going for them is their junior hockey team. Um, and their junior hockey team is set to like, they're gonna win, they're gonna, they're gonna do a lot of good things, they're gonna bring a hockey school to this community. But the day before their most important game, the police come and arrest their star player for raping a girl. Um, and it's just, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Um, I actually taught this to the 10th graders this past year. They loved it. It went over really well with them. Um, but I love, I love the characters. I love the writing. I, I know some people think it's a little bit heavy handed. Um, I was at actually a bachelor party this past weekend. Um, and it was three librarians and a psychology professor. And I'm pretty sure everybody there had read their town. Um, and, and I know some of the other librarians were like, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, it was a little bit heavy handed and it was a little bit heavy handed at times but I just I, I think part of that could be the fact that it is translated work um but it does also I mean like it's just it's just good I, I love the characters so much I love the town Benji is just I love him so much and I'm so sad it's gonna be sad all over again about book three I, I love it I love it so much it's five out of five stars that's it uh then I read a book that I went from Goodreads like years ago uh, and that is Lawn Boy by John Jonathan Evison. And this is about this guy and he has grown up super poor. He's got a development, developmentally disabled older brother. His mom works all the time and he is a um, landscaper. That's what he does. Uh, he gets fired. I mean, it's really just about him kind of trying to make his own way, trying to work, trying to make money um, while not completely screwing over everybody who isn't him you know and, and it's also him kind of figuring out some like his, his, a little bit of sexuality stuff and it was so funny because there are points where like he is on dates with this other man and he just doesn't realize it and this other man is like you can you can just pinpoint the where you where you realize that this other guy just realized like oh this guy has no idea what's happening and it's so funny it's so funny um but no it was really good it was really cute it was nice it was it was interesting it was funny I very much enjoy it. I think it's gonna be one, it, probably not one of my favorites of the year, but I did give it five out of five stars. It was good, it was well written, it was interesting, it was a good time. Uh, then, probably my worst book of the week. I don't know why I'm still reading these books. I just like, I just gotta, I guess, figure out what's going on. I rated it like two out of five stars. Uh, and that's the second volume of Killing Stocking. Uh, so, this, Killing Stocking, okay. Uh, this is a manhwa, uh, so it is, you know, it's a graphic novel. I find a yeah so it's, it's full color deluxe edition uh this follows this guy this guy who uh is in love with this other guy and he decides to like break into his house uh yeah uh and then he in his house he finds that this guy has been kidnapping and torturing and killing women uh and then he ends up getting kidnapped and tortured and everything like that this is about his their kind of situation they have going on it's hmm, there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot going on here um yeah i i read it i i, I remember kind of having some kind of fun with the first one just because it was like so much out there but this one was uh, i mean I, I will there i think there's only gonna be supposed to be five volumes of this i will probably keep buying them and reading them as they come out but i'm just like at what cost well like 30 bucks, 30 bucks a volume. That's, that's the cost. Uh, and then I read the second book in a fantasy series that I remember enjoying quite a bit. And that is uh, The Demon World by Sally Green. This is the sequel to the book Smoke Thieves. And all I remember from the first book was that I really, really liked Ed Young. And as I'm reading this book, it's the exact same thing. That's who I like. Uh, this follows this, this world where we've got the kind of war kind of brewing, but there's also these demons in this world. And there are people who if you kill a demon there's this smoke and there is this red smoke is the kind that we mostly see um it really it's just like a drug it just gets you high um the purple smoke however really kind of enhances physical abilities and we learn that um there's some people who might be trying to use this purple smoke for some bad things uh we've all a bunch of different characters um we've got tash who is this, like 12 year old girl who works and at um harvesting the smoke we've got Catherine who is a princess uh we've got Ambrose who is her guard um who else is there there's March and there's Edion so Edion is this um 
he's like the son of like a merchant um and somebody else he's, he's a bastard child um and he's also a law student but he can't get into law school because he doesn't have a dad uh but it turns out that he's the son of a prince and so march is is here to shows up to try and like get rid of him uh and but you know, they, they fall in love with that um but one one thing i really like what was <laughs> i think is so funny so eddie Aunt is consistently he he is consistently physically injured for laughs almost like if somebody is going to get their ass beat it's gonna be eddie on every single time everybody else can fight is the thing like everybody else has some kind of scrappiness eddie on does not he's a law student he can he that that's what he does and there was a part you know, where like he was it was like a triumphant moment for him and i think the last line of the chapter was and somebody threw a piece of grapple and cracked one of his teeth why where's that in there I don't know, it's fun oh this is a trilogy um i have the third book i haven't obviously i haven't read it yet this is my last book i read this past week i i enjoyed it like i i don't remember very much from the first book but i ended up giving this one four out of five stars i'm excited to read the third book at some point um it's in the book wall book bags can't really call the book wall anymore um but yeah there's that uh currently i am reading fear by michael grant this is a reread uh, i'm like 170 pages in i guarantee you my favorite character is dead before the end of the chapter maybe 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 yeah yep this chapter this chapter uh so maybe after this chapter i'll go a little bit faster but like i'm just just justice for howard man he deserves so much better uh anyway So these are the books that are this past week that's all for today. Uh, hashtag uh, if you want books that are not terrible. I, it, like I said, like all these books have at least major, major minor main characters that are that are gay. Obviously, these ones, um, Bear Town has a very prominent gay character and everybody's in love with him. This one, it's about that. This one, yeah, and Edion is 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 gay. So it's like. Is this good represent- no. Are any of these like what you could call good representation? I'd say the closest is probably Lawn Boy. I mean the Smoke Thieves isn't, um, the, isn't bad. I know a lot of people have issues in Sally Green. Um, the Half Bad trilogy kind of turned a lot of people off. I really enjoyed the Half Bad trilogy, honestly. Um, I know that with the whole Gabriel thing, um, it kind of- I don't know. I don't actually really know if there was more beyond that or if it was just like the writing choice that, that she did employ the barrier gaze thing. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that, this is whatever this past week was. Every day. I'll talk to you later and goodbye.